name's not important. This is the truth. <laughs> and I think you know what day it is. <laughs> it is Saturday, November the 8th, and history was made this week. Barack Obama became the first African-American president to be appointed by the Bilderberg Steering Committee. He's been busy this week assembling his transitional cabinet. Makes very interesting reading. Not a black face to be seen. Am I going to have to be the first to say it? Racist! I was up all of Tuesday night. I don't know for sure, but I think it was the scallops. Let's look at the big picture. An Obama White House. The dawn of a new era? Or as some on the right of the political spectrum would suggest... Is it the dawn of a new era? No, the word is pronounced era. Maybe we should just use epoch. Focus on Italy. Silvio Berlusconi, he's the Prime Minister there, he described the newly elected Barack Obama, and this is the quote, I've got this on facts. He described him as young, handsome and tanned. That's right, tanned. Let me just get this straight. Prime Minister Berlusconi, you are are seriously suggesting that Barack Obama used a tanning salon. For the love of God, that place needs shutting down. There are time limits on those beds for a reason. People are going to die. Fax your MEP. Let's get something done. We can change this world. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. My phrase, by the way, yes, we can. I used it eight weeks ago on this show. I said, yes, we can. The transcripts would be online, but I'm behind with my server payments. But somebody was listening. Oh, that's right, because the next thing I know, Chicago Grant Park, I'm puking into a bucket. It doesn't look like scallops, but I guess it has to be. Well, it doesn't end there, Senator Obama. I'm speaking to a guy who says he's a lawyer, OK? OK. Let's go behind the story, the tanned quote. Why did Berlusconi say that? Let's go deeper. Why wasn't it the Duke of Edinburgh? Why the silence here? Why the delay? What is he working on? The Duke knew two years ago that a black man was running for president. At that instant, he must have gone to his study and begun jotting ideas. Phrases, gestures, outfits, props, bones, I don't know. But surely, surely this is to be the greatest racist comment of a long and distinguished career. But it must come now. Your Royal Highness, at this historic time... Step forward with your racism. Step forward, sir. This is your moment. Be the racism that you want to see in the world. Background check. Rewind. Rick Astley's band before he was discovered. Called FBI. Look it up. FBI. The knowledge is available. Use your facts. Now, science prediction. Pig scientists at Imperial College London, that's in London, say that within 10 years, humans will be given pig organs. 10 years. So, looks like I'm going to have to wait until 2018 until I'll be able to open a bottle of wine with my new penis. Not good enough, people. Not good enough. Sick, out of control, meddling with natural systems. What's wrong with organ farms where cloned humans are fed with pipes and have their brains removed in infancy? Show me the suffering. And what you can't use, you boil and shred for motorway pasties. Clearly labelled. Consumer knowledge is consumer power. Let's go behind the story. Humans given kidneys from pigs. Why not? Humans already have sheep's brains. Not literally. Although I don't know what goes on in the bunkers of Imperial College London. I don't even know where those bunkers are. Joseph Mengele died in 1979. Or did he? Did he really? Did he? Yes, yes, he did. His death was confirmed by forensic examination and a DNA test. <clears throat> so that's good news, I guess. Barack Hussein Obama. I know what you're thinking. Seems tall for a Jewish guy. I'll look into it. Meanwhile, breaking news. The BBC are today airing an apology for the Russell Brand, Jonathan Ross obscene phone calls. Still, nothing about bone kickers. Nothing. Dragging your heels there, BBC. We have not forgotten. We cannot forget. 
Finally, on a lighter note, Brandon Crisp, age 15 from Ontario, ran away from home after his father confiscated his Xbox 360. Friends and volunteers hunted high and low for young Brandon, eventually finding his badly decomposed body in a cornfield on Wednesday. That's what they don't want you to know. This is the truth. It's Saturday. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.